Hello, my name is George Montgomery. Um, we're volunteer for a national nonprofit called the Campaign to End AIDS. Pretty much, we are a international organization, um, and we take action all over the U.S. and abroad, um, trying to uh, bring about policy change. As a freshman in college, I was diagnosed by the United States Marine Corps Reserve unit I was attached to. Um, it really just steered me in a different direction as far as, as the work that I wanted to do. Um, I really think there, there's two main main issues. Stigma and discrimination um, are play a major role um, in not only treating people with HIV, um, but just getting people tested to know their status. There's just so, so much stigma around it um, that it prevents us from the next point, which is treatment. That's, that's the, the other main issue is, is getting the medication to the people who need it um, or being able to just treat them, period. Oh, wow. There's so, so, so much people can do. Um, you know, I always tell people, the, the students in high school, you know, it obviously starts with one person. Changing attitudes will help change the stigma and discrimination um, that people living with HIV face, which just means a better quality of life for, the, for, for people. Level. You know, when you hear, you know, crude comments or, or, you know, false information about HIV, I think people should have the power to stand up and be like, you know, that's actually wrong. Changing policy, whether it's locally or, or countrywide or even internationally, um, means even so much more. You know, the power of the internet is amazing now. Um, I mean, you can start a petition, you can take the time to sign a petition, there's email campaigns, there's direct mailing campaigns, and you can even start your own if it comes down to it, if you're passionate enough about the issue. It, it, it all makes, makes a difference. Um, so I think it's important to, to, to let policy makers know, um, because ultimately they are the main decision makers. They are the power that be. If we don't lobby them and tell them why issues are important, we're less likely to, to, to be able to bring around change. Oh, wow. I do everything that you can imagine. You know, everything from, from signing those e-cards or petitions to starting to my own. Um, we protested at the first Barack Obama and John McCain presidential debate um, trying to, to kind of push them to creating the National HIV AIDS strategy here in the United States. But because we had the willpower to, to demonstrate and protest at these events, we now have a National HIV AIDS strategy. And I think every time I, I have taken action, um, personally, uh, we've gotten a response. I think the main message that I would send out to somebody who may be a little bit scared or uneasy about going taking action um is to know that what they're what they would do is important you know we need support from from all all people all around the world um and just to know that they can do it if they set their mind to it they can take action they can make a difference so i thank everybody for doing what they do